So the purpose of this video then is to give you a real insight to your telephone skills half day workshop. What I intend to do is to go through each of the sections briefly, but I will bring out the points that I think will interest you. The sort of things that you can take back into the workplace to make that job easier for yourself and much more effective from a customer point of view. We're going to kick off with something very straightforward and we'll be looking at why your customers choose to ring in to your business. Of course, all of you are going to be different and what your customers expect from you is going to be different. But over a period of time, you'll be able to pick up, you'll be able to put together a picture of your customers and understand what their wants and what their needs are. Now, simply knowing what type of customers are calling in is not going to be sufficient, as I'm sure you'll appreciate. So what we'll also look at is the context of those calls. But what do I mean by context? Well, it's one thing to have a customer talking to you about a customer service issue, but something completely different when that issue is impacting on your customer. Is this the third time that customer has had to ring through about this particular issue? Have they been cut off in the past? Or perhaps somebody has given them some wrong information that has sent them down the wrong line. We're eating into their time and that can't be allowed to happen. Now think, how does that customer feel as they're talking to you? Are they going to be as I am? Calm, organized and sorted in my mind? Or actually, are they going to be a little bit agitated and coming at you and perhaps not always making sense? Now, that in itself is not important, but what is most important is how you then react to that situation. By understanding the context of your customer's call, by being able to drill down and really understand where they're coming from, you are gonna be in a position, and watch for the top tip, you are gonna be in a position to be prepared. And that's really what the course is about, is preparation. Because that's the way to get the very best out of you and the very best for your customers. Moving on from there, we're going to have a look at the framework that you will use for your calls. And yeah, I'm suggesting that each of your calls can conform to a framework. It won't be exact on each and every occasion, but it at least gives you something to work with. But why would you adopt a framework? Is there any sense? Is there anything for you in there? Too right. Think about preparation. If you've got a framework and you understand what that call looks like beforehand, it means that as you go through, you're able to gauge what works. More importantly, you can appreciate what doesn't work. And it also means that you can bring new stuff into that framework if it's required or drop out stuff that's not required. So it's totally flexible, it's your framework and it suits your business and the needs of your customer. It doesn't take me to prepare that for you, just to let you know what the framework looks like and how it works best for you. Moving on from there, we're going to talk about call volumes. Now, if you're sat at a desk, you're sat in front of a computer, does it really matter to you how many calls you get through in a day? Or are you just glad to get that last call of the day so you can get your hat and coat on and away to go? If you understand your call volumes, and by that I mean what's going to happen as you walk through the door in the morning. How many calls are you going to get? What type of calls are you going to get? There's another peak in the day as we move up to lunchtime. I'm just thinking, my word, could I do with a snack? And am I ready for my lunch? But your customers aren't thinking that. They expect the same level of response from you on every occasion. If you know that is going to happen, you are going to be that much more prepared. You're going to find that as you go through the afternoon, there's going to be highs and lows. If you can identify them, you can prepare for them. So another top tip. Volumes are important. Understand them and then see what it means to your business. No course would be complete without the skills. We will absolutely be looking at your ability to listen to your customers. There's no point in being on the phone if you can't. 
We'll also take you through and let you see how the question techniques can really drill down into a customer, irrespective of their context, irrespective of the fact where they're angry, they're comfortable, whatever the situation, you can use those questions. Very often the self-same questions and you can understand and empathize with that customer and provide them with that level of service that you need to. The final thing we'll look at are the highs and lows of communication. And what I mean by that, at this moment in time, you are sat there in front of your PC, or perhaps you've got your uh, smartphone out and you're watching this video now, and you're able to see what I'm saying. What do I mean by that? You can see what I'm saying. You can see that the words that I'm choosing to use are in tune with my body language. And of course, on the phone, you don't have that. And we're going to show you ways and means of increasing your presence as far as your customers are concerned and again with the view to improving that relationship and the outcome of those calls. So there you have it. That's what you're going to see when you come on our course. We hope to see you soon and I hope you have sufficient information to make the right decision. My name's Steve Wayman and I work for Sixth Sense Learning.